Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. My name is Jesper and today we're going to be doing something very special, something I've never done before. We're going to be reviewing effects, VST effects to be quite uh, specific there. So these effects have been made available to me by Arturia as part of their FX collection too. Um, even though they sponsored this episode, they had no final say in whatever ended up in this video. Um, so you can rest assured my opinions will be my opinions and my reactions will be my reactions as always. Um, what I'm going to be doing to review Arturia's FX collection too is I'm going to be diving into these effects and I've had a quick look at them already but I haven't really dove into them. I haven't done a, an in-depth analysis yet so it's going to be as close to a first-hand first -hand experience that you can uh, do with me and I do hope that this is something that you will enjoy and yeah hopefully even find useful. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Clemens Vallas' MIDI file. Um, I did think about, okay, well, should I use my modular setup? Uh, but then I thought, let's make this as, well, as relevant to as many people as possible. Uh, so that's why I chose to just use the grand piano that's included with Ableton and use that as a base. And then we can just record all of our effects on top of that. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's dive right in and uh, let's get this party started, shall we? So the first one is the bus force. So let's uh, have a quick look at that. Take some time to load while I'm recording, of course. So this is a very versatile one, uh, it's got a EQ, let's see what we can do there, oh nice. something you can really shape your sounds with. I like that. down and turn the overdrive up. Coming from a heavy metal background, I truly love these kind of sounds. So that's the first one. Let's remove that. And let's go into the chorus. Chorus Dimension D. sine wave, a ramp, a sample and hold, or a yeah, health random and a smooth random, I think. It adds a bit of twang, I think. But other than that, it's quite subtle. Hmm. 
but I like it. It's a nice chorus. It's, it's, it's subtle. The chorus from the Juno. Always good. This is something I can truly use in, in modular music. Just add that that warmth, the analog sound back into it. Let's get the compressors going. First one is the diode 609. It's got advanced settings. So this is primarily used for drums, I read on the Arturia website. So let's uh, get the threshold down, attack down, recovery down, makeup gain all the way down and get the ratio up a bit. And we can actually see the gain reduction happening there. This is what I typically would like to do with uh, uh, compressors. Turn them all the way up, or in this case, all the way down and then all the way up, and then start to tweak them until it sounds right. So this sounds quite flat, but then if you listen to the affected ones, something like this. I love, I love compression. It's one of those things that will immediately make your mix sound that much better. Love how this brings the bass keys out. Perfect. I'll be using that going forwards. No worries there whatsoever.
Try some presets. Nice. Just the amount of dynamics, a simple compression adds. It's, it's, it's fantastic. with some delays. <coughs> I'm just going to be playing with some presets for these ones. These presets, sometimes I think, well, <laughs> how many of them will be ever be used? Something like this. I, 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 I simply don't know, but it's good that they're included because they do inspire me to do other things, but yeah. This, this is one of those presets I truly like. Memory Brigade. Does that spell Bucket Brigade? Or I think so. Yeah. Next one's going to be a tape delay. Ooh, that already sounds great. Make some selections about the number of active heads.
this is one of those effects I'm going to be using. Absolutely. Another equalizer. Produziert in Grenoble. Oh wow. <laughs> so what do we have here? Color frequency, shell filter. Oh, perfect. Oh, this is powerful. This is powerful. This is something, this is so powerful. This is something I'm going to be using going forward. Absolutely. This is by far one of the easiest to use equalizers. It's immediately something I, I know exactly how to use and what to, how, how to use it. Perfect. Let's dive into the filters. Matrix filter. Oh, random. Oh. This is nice. I love random things. Sample and hold all the way. Oh, sample and hold meets FM. <laughs> So you can actually change these envelopes by hand. Oh, this is powerful. This is something that you can easily lose hours into and start and tweak this going forwards. Oh yeah, that's a time sink. <laughs> Like it. The filter mini. Oh, yeah. Here we've got the um, the mini mog. That's great. With that step sequencer there. <laughs> All these great things. So this is the, the Moog ladder filter, if I'm not mistaken. Really nice that they included that. The filter Sam. sequencer let me just grab some presets oh Oh, 
<laughs> Great something to play with. Flanger. This is also a nice one. I like when you can actually draw your envelopes and that just gives you so much expression capability. That's great. Let's grab the phaser. They animated the foot paddle as well. Oh, I love that. Okay, advanced. Okay. <laughs> so when you click advanced, it, it actually just removes the faceplate there. I like that. Something you you could play with. So let's get into the preamps. Okay, so what do we have here? High shelf gain, presence, frequency. Oh, low shelf. Okay, great. So. That adds so much dimension to the sound. I like that. I tried a Ugly, but you can hear me. Okay, well, that's true. Vintage Pride Focal. Okay, so these are buttons to have your. Preamp V seventy nine seventy six. Okay, so what do we have here? An equalizer.
this is actually quite a usable preamp. It's got no nonsense, it, there's nothing fancy going on. It just does what it does. <laughs> Very usable. Then we're into the reverb section. Three reverbs. First one, intensity. Ooh. Use it wisely. Feedback. Ooh. Oh, that's why they say use it wisely. rhythm to it. I like that. Ugh. Don't like this. Only acceptable in the 80s. Yeah understand why they're coming from. Yeah, it's fun. Grab the plate reverb. This is one of those reverbs that's really usable. It's subtle, but it's got warmth to it as well. Yeah. No worries there whatsoever. And then last but not least, spring reverb. Always a classic. It's actually quite subtle for a spring reverb. Oof. Forgot, forget what I said. just stop the uh, the actual sounds there remove my headset I 
truly love doing this just diving in and just playing around with with things and i really had to pace myself because we're already 30 minutes in and the only thing i did was just play around with some of these effects so what my plan is is to dive into these effects more one by one going forward uh, either by adding them to my other videos and so you can actually see how they can be applied or by actually diving deeper into them in a dedicated video um, so I'm really interested to hear what you guys back home think would be well most well worth your while uh, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think um, would you like me to actually dive into these effects one by one and really make sure that we understand what each and every function does or do you say well I just want to see how you can apply them and see what the actual benefit is uh, other than a well rather clinical approach to how they how they work I know what my preference is going to be but I'm doing this for myself and for you back home so I'm interested to hear your feedback so for now, I would say, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found this useful. And um, I would say, well, thanks everyone for joining. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.